Hello there again, minions. Wheezy here. On this weekly wrap-up, we're going to cover what's been going on on the channel these last couple of weeks, uh, what you may have missed, and why things are different, <laughs> if you've missed that. And we're also going to talk about the fact that Battlefield 2042 has confirmed cross-play and cross-progression. Thank God. I still got to fix this. Hold on. I still got to fix my set. Let's go talk. Well, all right, minions. I, I Typically, we get right into it on the weekly wrap-up, but I'm trying to sneak this in while I'm still unpacking at the new house. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, uh, I went out of town to uh, for vacation for like a week, and I also had to move houses, so I've been doing that. So the content you guys have been seeing on the channel over the last two weeks, um, I've kind of like put in the bank and have been like slowly rolling it out. So if you've been watching the videos, you've probably heard me say things at the beginning of each video, like, hey, I'm putting these in the bank so I can schedule them. So I haven't like touched a video game in like nearly a month at this point. Um, so I, I captured a few videos anticipating this big long interruption. And uh, so that's what you guys have been getting. Um, so I'm a little bit behind. Uh, as I record this, it is actually Thursday. Weekly wrap ups are usually on a Friday. Uh, and post it on a Saturday. Um, but I wanted to get it out because I'm not going to get any gameplay probably this weekend either. <laughs> and maybe not much of a chance to really record any new like game content. I'm hoping on Monday I'll be able to get back into that. Um, in addition to moving, I've also got my day job that I've been working at. Where is it? There we go. Red hat. <laughs> um... But that's not to say there's not still content coming. I wanted to get this video out. So let's briefly touch on um, what you may have missed since the last weekly wrap-up, which was three weeks ago. <laughs> it's going to get back to being weekly, I promise. Um, but let's see. So I did a video of some gameplay of Breakthrough Mode in Battlefield Five, which was um, in anticipation of the fact that Breakthrough is going to be one of the core game modes in Battlefield 2042. There's also been quite a bit more Battlefield 2042 news over the last couple of weeks. Um, so I'll be catching up on that in the, in the near future as well. So look forward to that. But in the meantime, if you missed this video, here's a clip of me playing some Breakthrough in Battlefield 5. How are you not dead? I'm surrounded. Don't jump over here. Oh god. I'm outnumbered. Sorry. Loading. Oh, that's a friendly. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have I split our team? Have I just made a, a horrific mistake by doing this? Alright. Make sure that's loaded. Okay, and after that... I did a video on the fastest way to unlock the nail gun in Cold War, which is somewhat ironic because today, July 15th, as I'm recording this, they just released like the mid-season update or one of the season updates and they added another new gun that's like an SMG. I haven't even gotten near it and touched it. So, but I did a nail gun video like two weeks ago and that was fun to play with. So here's a clip and check it out. How the nail gun works is actually a pretty fun little special weapon to use. Uh, it's got a cool little feature that I'm going to tell you about too that I kind of accidentally discovered that actually may be one of the most useful things about it as a secondary weapon uh, if you're playing Cold War objective modes reasonably consistently or even probably in war zones. But that's a teaser. You're going to talk about that in just a minute here. I'm going to let this streak finish out and tell you a little bit more about sticks and stones strategy. Uh, yeah, you can see here just I'm emphasizing a lot of uh, hip fire when possible up close just because that kind of speed matters all right after that i did a gameplay of battlefield 4 um this one was on ps well ps4 but i played it on my ps5 um and i played a game of conquest in battlefield 
as well as a game of domination, which is traditionally, I think most people associate with a Call of Duty mode. Um, so I kind of, I started out, I think, in the domination game and then went to Conquest. And so it was kind of an interesting video. Some Battlefield gameplay holding me over for 2042. And also kind of comparing a kind of Call of Duty game mode of domination, more infantry focused with a more traditional Battlefield game mode of Conquest where there's vehicles ahoy. So here is a clip from that one. Good shot. Good shot, Sniper. PDW from this range. Not great. Let's turn this laser off and move in. You have a flashlight on. And that cost you. This is why I don't like under attachments that are lights and shit go check that one out battlefield is man the hype the hype is real it's, it's, i can't wait okay the next video i did was to save you money on nintendo switch online if you play uh on the nintendo switch so um i my son has a switch i don't play on very often but he's had a couple of being nine He's had a couple of scares with his Nintendo where every once in a while it won't start back up, which is usually just a matter of making sure that it's plugged in to charge for a while and then holding down the power button to do a hard reset. But it got me thinking, he's got a lot of saved games on there, and since he doesn't have Nintendo Switch Online, none of those are backed up to the cloud, so if his Switch breaks, which could happen because he's nine, um, he would lose all of his game progress. And as a lifelong video gamer and a responsible dad, I couldn't allow that to happen. So I got him a Nintendo Switch Online subscription, and while I was at it, decided to record a video showing you how I save 5%, I think is what it is. It's a dollar. Here's how to save a dollar on Nintendo Switch <laughs> games. But it also gives you like free access, you know, or access included with your subscription cost to an NES emulator, Super Nintendo emulator, so you can play classic NES and Super Nintendo games. My son has been taking full advantage of that and getting his video game education in classic games like Super Mario World. It's really awesome. And, you know, compared to $60 a year uh, for a subscription for like PlayStation Plus or Xbox Live, or if you're like me and loving Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, $15 a month. Again, like I said, I have videos for discounts for those subscriptions as well. But 20 bucks, or in this case, 19 bucks a year. Not too shabby. All right, so after that one, man, there's so many. When you don't do a weekly wrap up for three weeks, they, they add up. Uh, I did a gameplay video where I was playing the new maps that were added for season four of Cold War. So it was Hijacked, which is an old new map. And then I don't even know the name of the other new map, but I played it and, and it's still Cold War. So in traditional Wheezy style, it's probably worth watching just because of how irritating it can be for me to play Cold War still. So here's a clip from that. All right, let's give this a shot. It's got a non-scope scope. All right. Here we go, come on. Another one? It's like having a... Having a little quick scope machine here. Did you kill that guy? Oh, snap! Oh, he got me with one of them things. Okay, we're almost there. After that one, I had to play some Modern Warfare to get rid of the bad feels of Cold War. So, I played some Season 4 Modern Warfare. Um, there was a playlist where they had, like, season four favorites of game modes for Modern Warfare. Because um, it seemed kind of like, you know, a, a good kind of, like, complement to the Cold War video. Uh, but as it turned out, I got kind of dumped into <laughs> um, a game mode I'm not a huge fan of. Um, so even though I still love Modern Warfare and enjoy it significantly more than Cold War, I had a bit of an experience with Modern Warfare as well. So here's a clip of that. We've got the flag. Have to reload. Ah. 
Fuck me. Where the hell did you guys go? What the f- Why are you guys running across the map? It's defend. This isn't the game's fault. My teammates are fucking retarded. Fuck me. Alright. And finally, I posted a game of Battlefield 4 on PC. And this is actually a good lead-in to what I want to talk about with crossplay. Battle 4 on PC, where I was just playing some Battlefield, just some Conquest on PC. And uh, it was fun. It was just a lot of fun. So I just did a live commentary to record it. So there's something to upload. It was, it was good. I got my first, I think it was like my first ever reverse knife in Battlefield 4. I mean, spoilers, but anyway... <laughs> It's not like the most dramatic thing in the world. But in all of my time playing Battlefield 4, and there was a lot. I don't know if I ever got a reverse knife. And I did it on the PC. And so here's a clip of that. Somebody here? Yes! I am all that is man! <laughs> Holy shit balls! I can't believe I could find the F key without staring at my hands. Go oh, me. Wow. Sucks to be that guy. So yeah, go check all of those out if you haven't already. If you've got a hankering for some Battlefield, there's some stuff there. If you're still into Call of Duty, I still love you. I'm, you know, I'm a Call of Duty fan even though Cold War is hot garbage. But, you know, we're going to get there. So... Go check those out. Leave comments here, there. There's going to be links for all this shit as usual. You know the drill. So let's talk about what has been confirmed for Battlefield 2042, and that is cross-play and cross-progression. I, in a weekly update a month ago, no, more than a month ago, in, an, in a weekly update a little while ago, I talked about is cross-play the future. And I talked about how I really wanted Battlefield to have crossplay, Call of Duty was one of the first titles to kind of like implement crossplay as a standard. Um, was Modern Warfare like one of the first like real big AAA games that kind of did crossplay? Fortnite kinda, although I'm not sure that really counts. Um, just because I don't really count Fortnite. Fortnite's obviously a huge game. I don't mean to dig on Fortnite. Sorry. <laughs> But for me, Call of Duty was the first one, Modern Warfare, where you could play on PlayStation with Xbox players, with PC players, uh, and it was just cool. And then when they added cross-progression, meaning that no matter which platform you played on, it just stores your progress to your, to your account, you know, your Activision account, instead of like being your Xbox gamer tag or your P PSN ID. You're logged in with an Activision account for Call of Duty, right? And with... Uh, with Battlefield, it'll either be DICE or EA managing those. Which means you won't end up in a situation like I'm in now, if you go back to that PC gameplay I made, where if I go back and play Battlefield 4 on my PC, I mostly played it on PS4, so that's where all my unlocks are. I have, like, every weapon and stuff unlocked on PS4. So when I play on PC, I'm, like, level 10 now. <laughs> like, I have, like, four guns. And it's just, like, I played hundreds of hours of this game essentially and and when i play it on pc i have absolutely nothing to show for it so why does that matter for most people it probably doesn't matter but for me and especially with the way things are going now with console gaming and and just kind of the the industry in general right my place my playstation my playstation of choice my platform of choice is still the playstation uh even though playstation 5's got some wonkiness right now and the xbox series x is fucking rock solid uh as far as like the way it operates i know there's not a lot of games out for next gen systems period but uh playstation guy which means i tend to buy games when i have the choice on playstation so i'm gonna buy battlefield 2042 for the ps5 now, because it's an EA title, it will probably have at least limited availability on the Series X and the um, and on PC through EA Play. Because I'm an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscriber, I've got EA Play as well. Um, not EA Play Premium or something like that, but 
So it's weird because it's like there's Xbox Live Gold, and then above that there's Xbox Live Game Pass, and then above that there's Xbox Live Game Pass Ultimate. So I have Game Pass Ultimate, and Game Pass Ultimate has EA Play, but not EA Play Premium. Anyway, I it means I have a realistic chance that I could be playing some of these games on multiple platforms. And who knows, a couple years down the road, if Battlefield 2042 is one of those games like Battlefield 3 or Battlefield 4 that I want to go back to, and the consoles have become outdated like the Xbox 360 is, for instance, if I want to play Battlefield 3... If I want to play it on PC, I don't have any of my unlock progression progressions from Battlefield 3 on PC, even though the PC can kind of upgrade the graphics because of the nature of PC. I still kind of, I don't want to say I hate PC gaming. I'm a console gamer, but there are things that matter, you know. Um, so that'll be exciting to have cross progression there. And just in general, just to be able to swap platforms. If I, I'm, I've been on this journey of kind of, improving my keyboard and mouse skills i got my you know leap gamer it's not i got some budget gamer mice and keyboards but you know they got mechanical clickiness that's fun so i'm getting better you know i'm not as potato take take a look at the at the the bf4 gameplay on pc that last video i talked about i'm getting there man like um so it'll be good to kind of be able to do a little bit of both and move around and and then of course that following on with the new call of duty games doing it too but yeah, it's an exciting announcement. They announced a lot of other stuff. Like I said, I'll probably cover that in future videos, but I really wanted for the weekly wrap up to just say, thank goodness Battlefield 2042 is bringing cross play and cross progression. And soon in what, a week, they're gonna be doing the, their EA game event or whatever. And there's gonna be a lot of more reveals about a lot of more, a lot more reveals about Battlefield 2042 and some of their new like game modes they've been teasing where they're like bringing back old maps but making a new experience they're doing something that's not a battle royale but it's their new hotness like there's good stuff coming for battlefield 2042 i can't wait i can't wait to get back into playing video games period it's exciting times can't wait to get completely unpacked <laughs> Uh, I promised you guys a while ago some behind the scenes stuff now that I'm in a new house and getting a new setup and stuff like that with things. It'll be a good time to start giving you guys behind the scenes stuff, a, a walkthrough of my setup, what I've got all laid out here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now in weekly wrap up style. And uh, I've got a, I've got like an arm coming for it. The way that my desk is set up here, Typically, I have the camera set up like right behind my monitor, and so I can kind of like reach it. But right now, it's over there. I'm getting like a boom arm so that hopefully I can like move the camera around and maybe bring it in closer still. But anyway, I'm going to end the video and say I love you, minions, and I'll see you later. And then I'm going to stand and do this.